face recognition. In this chapter, we will introduce you to the face recognition interface. Face recognition is available only for supported devices, both NVRs and cameras. The supported models are NVR8 series for NVRs, and for cameras, 5 megapixel and 8 megapixel EyeSight series. Starting from the main interface, we go to the top right toolbar. Clicking on Face Recognition will open a pane presenting live faces captured by the face recognition cameras, processed and saved by the MVR. In the pane, two columns are presented. The left side presents the detected faces. When a face is appearing parallel on the right, it means the object is recognized as well. Notice. The detection rate is up to 10 faces per second from a single channel, or up to 180 faces per channel for all channels combined. The captured faces are both for faces detected but not recognized, and recognized faces that were added to the database, as we will elaborate later on in this video. Let's review some of the actions available from this pane. When pointing the mouse cursor on a face, some options appear on the bottom of the image. First is the plus sign. Clicking it will open a pop-up window where we can add personal identifying details on the object, such as name, gender, date of birth, native place, ID type, and number, mobile phone, and which group of permission we want to assign the object to. We'll elaborate more about permission group when we get to face database later on in this tutorial. The next icon is the magnifying glass. Clicking it will take you automatically to the smart search interface. See chapter 11, search and backup. The camera icon will present an instant playback when the face was detected. See chapter 12, playback. The last icon is three dots. Clicking on a detected but not recognized face will open a window of the snapshot details the object snapshot, the time it was taken, and from which camera. Face ID and score are system analytic parameters that we won't review for now. Clicking the same icon on a recognized face will open a window of the snapshot details, person information, as we explained on the plus sign, and the similarity percentage, which stands for how certain the system is, that the person found is indeed the person we searched for. For example, 100% means that the system is 100% sure that the person searched for is the person found. On the bottom of the face detection pane, we have similarity percentage, similar to what we just explained. Last is settings that enable a face tracking box when detecting a face. The next feature for face recognition is under camera settings. Just go to main menu, setting, Camera, Analytics, Face Detection. Here we can see all the cameras connected supported face recognition. Reviewing from left to right, we can configure if a camera will function in a face recognition mode or not. Next, we can set the delay between each time the system will alarm on a detected face. Save source information, save a full snapshot of the scene when a face was detected, requires SD card. Save face information saves a snapshot of the face taken by the camera. Under the live screen of the camera, there's draw warning area box. Ticking it will allow you to set an area of interest for the face detection. Just drag the mouse cursor on the screen to set the area. Just below are the same configurations as we explained on the right configuration pane. Last, on the right bottom side of the screen, we have Processing Mode. That will take us to the Face Alarm configuration. We'll just get to it. And Apply, which saves and applies all the configurations we just set on this window. Moving next, we continue to Face Alarm. Similar to other configurations on the NVR that can be set to trigger an alarm, face recognition can also be set for high performance control over objects monitoring. Just go to Main Menu, Setting, Alarm, Alarm Status. Above it, Face Alarm. 
we have three alarm options. First is face detection. We can see all the cameras supporting face recognition. Let's review each configuration starting from left to right. Record. When the chosen camera detects a face, it triggers recording from any of the cameras suggested. Press configure to see what cameras can be triggered. Snap will trigger a snapshot of the event. Push will send a push notification to the phone app. Alarm out. When the chosen camera detects a face, it triggers an alarm from any of the cameras suggested. Press configure to see what cameras can be triggered. Preset. When the chosen camera detects a face, it will activate a preset mode to the monitored area. See Chapter 4, Camera Configuration. Buzzer will activate a buzzer sound from the NVR. Pop-up video will present a live view of the event on the main screen when detecting a face. Email will send an email to the address you set when detecting a face. At the bottom of these windows, there are two buttons. Face Detection Configuration will take us to the Face Camera's configuration and Apply will save and apply all the changes we made on this window. Next is Face Match Parameters. On this window, we can set a similarity rate for one or several cameras. Each time a face recognition similarity rate is equal to or higher than the rate determined, the alarms will be activated. And last is face match. Let's review each configuration starting from left to right. First, we can see all the permission groups we created. Enable or disable alarming options to the specific group chosen. Record. When the chosen camera detects a face, it triggers recording from any of the cameras suggested. Press configure to see what cameras can be triggered. Snap will trigger a snapshot of the event when recognizing a face. Push will send a push notification to the phone app when recognizing a face. Alarm out. When the chosen camera recognizes a face, it triggers an alarm from any of the cameras suggested. Press configure to see what cameras can be triggered. Buzzer will activate a buzzer sound from the NVR. Pop-up video will present a live view of the event on the main screen when recognizing a face. Pop-up message box will present an alarm message plus a snapshot of the face recognized on the main screen. Email will send an email to the address you set when detecting a face. Another main feature regarding face recognition is face database, including functions like creating and editing permission groups creating and editing objects and sophisticated statistics. Just go to Main Menu, Search and Backup, Face Database. We've got two main sections showing on the left pane, Manage and Statistics. Let's start with Manage. Here we can see all the permission group. We can edit group's name by clicking the pencil icon or delete a group clicking the trash can icon showing on the left. Opening a group on the right arrow icon will allow us the following action. Starting from left to right, Add will allow us to add a new unfamiliar object to the database. By clicking Add, a window will open. Click the empty frame icon to choose the object you want to add to the database from all the faces the system has detected. Then fill in the object's personal identifying details such as name, gender, date of birth, native place, ID type and number, mobile phone, and which group of permission we want to assign the object to. Modify will allow you to edit personal identifying details for an object. By clicking Modify, a window will open where you can edit same personal identifying details as the Add window. Delete will delete any object you choose and Clear All will end up deleting all the objects on the specific permission group. The same configuration can be done for all the permission groups presented. At the bottom of this window, we have got Processing Mode, which takes us back to Face Alarm. And on the right, we have Add Group to add another permission group. Click it to enter the name as you desire. 
Last is import and export. This section is very useful and important. The option of importing and exporting database is available for all supported devices. Clicking it will open a pane. When connecting an external USB flash drive, it will appear on the device named Scroll Option. Choose the device you wish to use for export or import information from or to. On the right, you may click Refresh if the device you connected didn't appear yet or for some reason you wish to refresh the system. After choosing a device, mark it on the Results pan and choose the action you wish, either Export or Import. Keep in mind when exporting a database to the DVR or MVR, it runs over the old database and deletes it. Next, we continue to Statistics. This interface allows you to analyze object statistics using various combinations. You might want to analyze a specific group or camera, or your entire object's traffic from all cameras and groups. On the left pane, you can choose the camera you wish to present. On the upper toolbar, you can tick the permission group you wish to present. On the graph chart window, you can choose what time period you wish to analyze. You can choose day, week, month, quarter. Customize will open a small window where you can set a specific date and last is the current day. The results will be presented via a graph chart or pie chart as seen below. This finalizes the face recognition chapter.